Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about section 7.3. It's about double angle, half angle and reduction formulas. As you may remember in section 7.2 we studied sum and difference formulas. What are they? If sine of a plus, what is sine of a plus b equal, right? And double angle and half angle formulas are just those formulas again, nothing new. But this time you know, in the, in the previous uh, uh, section, sine of a plus b is equal to whatever, right? But in this time, a, we will take a is equal to b. So what is sine of a plus a? So in, in other words, what is sine of 2a equal to? All right, we are going to look at what is sine of 2a, what is cosine of 2a, what is tangent of 2a? And similarly, what is sine of a over 2? sine of b over, cosine of a over 2 and tangent of a over 2. Those over 2 parts are half angle formulas and 2a parts are the double angle formulas, okay? All right, let's look at those formulas. Uh, let me choose my colors, I like blue colors, okay. First, first double angle formula is for sine sine of 2a is equal to 2 sine a cosine a and where does this formula come from in the next example we are going to prove it okay prove that sine of 2a is equal to 2 sine a cosine a so okay sine of 2a is equal to as i said you i can rewrite 2a is a plus a right? Sine of a plus a and sine of a plus a is equal to, remember, sine of the first angle times cosine of the second angle cosine a plus plus, if this is plus, this is also plus, right? In sine. Sine of second angle sine a and cosine of first angle cosine a. And if you look at these two terms, they are same, right? So sine a cosine a plus sine a cosine a. So that's actually equal to two sine a cosine a. Okay. That formula exactly comes from the previous formula, the sum formula in section 7.2, okay? So it just, it's just enough to know one of them. But you know, in general, it's good to know what the sine of 2a directly, okay, without, without uh, using the previous formula. What about cosine? Let's look at the cosine. Cosine double angle identities. And uh, cosine 2a, I can re we can rewrite cosine 2a as three form, as in three forms. These are the forms, okay? Cosine 2a is equal to cosine squared a minus sine squared a. Cosine 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared. Or two, cosine 2a is equal to 2 cosine squared minus 1. And why do we have these three formulas? They are actually the same formulas. The, basically, we can take cosine 2a is equal to cosine squared a minus sine squared a. But we know that from Pythagorean t uh, identities, right? The, very, the, the most famous trig identity is sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to one. If you just use that identity in the previous, the previous formula, you will get the others, okay? And again, uh, why are these formulas working? We are gonna use the previous formula in section 7.2. Let's, let's do it here in the second example. Cosine 2a. And again, I can rewrite cosine to a as yes. cosine a plus a. And if you remember the form formula for cosine uh, a plus b, right? Cosine of the first angle, cosine a times cosine of the second angle, cosine b. And if this plus here, it should be minus here, right? Minus sine of the first angle, sine a and sine of the second angle, sine a. And again, cosine, ah, oh, sorry, this is, should be, this should be a, right? 
So let me erase this part. Okay. All right. Okay. Cosine A times cosine A minus sine A times sine A. So cosine A times cosine A is just cosine squared A, right? Cosine squared A minus sine A times sine A is, is sine A squared, sine squared A. As you see, this is the first formula, right? Here. But as I said to you, uh, maybe I can write down here, from our the very first, the most famous trig identity, sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to one, right? So I can rewrite sine squared as this way, right? If I subtract from both sides cosine squared A, one minus cosine squared A, or similarly, I can rewrite cosine squared A. So I can keep cosine squared A on the left-hand side. And I can move the sine squared on the right-hand side. One minus sine squared A. Now in this formulas, I can use these guys and obtain the others, these two identities, okay? So for example, for sine squared A, I can use one minus cosine squared. So that's equal to cosine squared A minus one minus I'll just substitute what sine squared A from here, okay? Then I just need one minus. It's one minus one plus cosine squared and there's one. So it will be two cosine squared. A minus one. This is the third formula as you see here, okay? This is the first formula. And similarly, uh, instead of rewriting sine squared, I can rewrite cosine squared with respect to sine squared. So, and cosine squared A is one minus sine squared, right? One minus sine squared A minus sine squared A. So I'm just plugging, uh, substituting what cosine squared A here. So one minus sine squared minus sine squared will be one minus two sine squared. A. Okay. As you see here, these three formulas are all equal to each other, but just I'm rewriting them uh, to obtain the other ones. All right. So, and I also proved this identity, right? Cosine two is equal to one minus two sine squared. A. Okay. Now let's look at this example, tangent x is equal to 12 over five, find sine two x. Okay, first of all, what is sine two x? Sine two x is equal to two times sine x, cosine x, right? From the, from the formula on the top. And uh, now uh, I need to know what sine x, cosine x are, right? And what I know about x, the angle x is tangent is 12 over five. And x in the third quadrant, right? So let me try to draw the picture roughly. So x is here, okay? So, and tangent, as you know, tangent is adjacent over hypotenuse, right? Sorry, uh, opposite over adjacent. So this is 12 and this is five. But since these are negative x axis and negative y axis, right? This should be negative five and negative 12, okay? And uh, I also need to know what hypotenuse is, but we can use just Pythagorean identity, right? X squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And if you just apply this, uh, identity, we will get hypotenuse is equal to 13, okay? So you can do it actually separately in your notebook. So what is sine x then? If, this, if you think this is x, actually the whole angle is x. But I can just look at this triangle, that's fine. And uh, what is sine x? 
sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? 2 times negative 12 over 5. And cosine x is adjacent over hypotenuse, negative 5. Sorry, sorry, so this is uh, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and hypotenuse is 13, right? Not 5. Okay. And adjacent, uh, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So two, sine 2x two is equal to then 2 times negative 12 times negative 5, which makes 120 over 13 times 13 is 169. All right. So if tangent x is 12 over 5, sine x is 120 over 169. All right. Now, all right, let me stop here for this video. In the next coming videos, I'm going to work on more examples. And I'm going to also work on uh, the double angle formula for tangent and how, uh, half angle formulas, all right? Let me stop here for now. Mm.